Docs Aitken is one of the best midfielders in all of college lacrosse right now. The 6'2 All-American specimen has shattered countless scoring records. We're going to break down exactly why he's so good and what you need to do to become the next Docs Aitken. So if there's one midfielder that you should be watching and trying to emulate, it's definitely Docs Aitken. If you're an aspiring midfielder, I'd highly recommend you watch the video in full and take notes to really soak this in. Before we get started, would you mind if I sent you an email each week with film breakdowns and drills to help you become a better player? If the answer is yes, come on over and join the free LAX Weekly email newsletter. I'll leave a link in the description, over 300 of you have already joined this newsletter and I'm super pumped. I also offer private coaching if you're really looking to improve rapidly. Now let's get into the video. Here's the first clip. I'll play it for you and then we'll talk about it so don't worry about missing it. Aiken with a little bit of space. Aiken rifles one high. Awesome, this was a great dodge, and the best part about this film is that we can slow this down and really see why he was successful. So let's talk about this initial move where Docs roll dodges from his left hand to his right hand. If you've seen him play before, you know he prefers his right hand. So this move is a perfect way to set up your defender with your non-dominant hand to ultimately go back to your dominant hand. You see this defender is trying to force Docs to go left, so he takes it and then he rolls back to the right. Another note I'll say about this move. As a midfielder, dodging is all about space. You want to make a move on your defender when you're two or three feet away from him, not when you're really close to him like an attackman usually would. So look at this, I mean there's tons of space for Docs to dodge and this is perfect. And actually one more thing I'll say about this move, notice this little hesitation Docs does right here. It's subtle but it's really important. This little hesitation makes it seem like he intends to go left, and then the defender overcommits to the left, and then he rolls back right. And now for the shot, there's a lot of great things to learn from this. Notice how far Dox's hands are back when he shoots. You generate way more velocity on your shot when your hands are back and away. And the other thing to note, which is something I've said a bunch if you've watched my other videos, but he shoots as his defenders are trying to block him which is perfect because now his defender is a screen, so the goalie doesn't know where the ball is when it comes out. As long as he doesn't hit the goalie, he basically guarantees himself a goal here. Don't be afraid to shoot when defenders get close to you. They can actually give your shot a much better chance of going in since they block the goalie. Let's take a look at another clip that uses some of these same principles. This is the matchup. Aiken against Brendan Collins, an offensive midi. And Aiken with another bouncer. So let's break this dodge down into three parts. First is this initial move Docs makes when he leans in with his shoulder and runs down the left side of the goal. Second is the bounce he makes. And third is this re-dodge. Let's unpack each of these pieces more closely. In part one right here, Docs has a short stick matchup, which is very favorable for him. But instead of trying to rush things and immediately dodge, notice how he leaves this space in between him and his defender and stays patient. His eyes are up seeing if someone is trying to slide to him and he uses his shoulder to lean in. And take note, if you're a midfielder, sometimes it's good to be patient when you dodge and let the game come to you instead of trying to rush things. Now in part two, this is the most important part of the dodge, the bounce. He's made contact with his shoulder and now he bounces, which means that he steps away from his defender to create separation. This separation forces the defender to make a decision. Does he keep pushing Docs or let him have that space? The defender chooses to try to push Docs and Docs has time to react since he has created this space. So he takes a step forward and now he has his defender beat. Finally in part three, Docs makes a smart decision here. He's running out of angle as he heads downfield, so he switches to his right hand to improve his angle. And then this shot is perfect, you notice he bounces it in. All of Dox's momentum is moving away from the goal, so he knows he can't generate too much power on the shot. So the bounce is the perfect shot in this case because you don't need to shoot the ball hard in order to have an effective bounce shot. And if you want me to personally break down your lacrosse game in even more detail than I go into in this video, you can check out the link for private coaching in the description. Or you can join the free LAX Weekly email newsletter. 
I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.